This presentation is part two of our series on using the Delcross Savant electromagnetic software to study an intervehicular communication system. In the previous video, we used Savant to determine the best location to mount a 5.9 gigahertz blade antenna on our automobile model. We determined that the optimal location to install our antenna was at the center of the top of the car. In this video, we'll see what happens to our IVC antenna performance when the car is passed by a large delivery van. We will consider now a much larger scenario from an electrical size standpoint. First, we'll consider three static situations involving differing relative positions of the car and the van, and use Savant to predict the installed performance of our IVC antenna when the proximity of the van is taken into consideration. This problem now covers 314 by 177 wavelengths in extent and is 74 wavelengths high. First, we consider the situation where the delivery van is overtaking the automobile on the left. The Delcross Savant EM software is used to analyze the full scenario and determines the 3D radiation pattern for the antenna. In the two views, you can clearly see the blockage effect on the pattern from the van. Less intuitive are the pattern lobes that result from the multipath effects of the signal bouncing off the van and reinforcing direct radiation in those directions. Savant requires less than three minutes to compute over 130,000 far field observation points on a standard commercially available laptop with a stock graphics adapter. In these views, Savant captures radiation pattern elevation cuts at three different azimuth angles. The red curves show the antenna's installed performance in the presence of the car alone. The black curves show the complete pattern with the effects of the large metal van. Here, the blockage effect is clearly manifest. Next, the delivery van is pulling up along the car. Both blockage and multipath become even more pronounced. Looking at the elevation cuts, we can see both blockage and multipath reinforcement quite clearly. Multipath nulls are also appearing near the horizon in the direction away from the van, which you can see most clearly in this graphic on the right. Finally, we consider the situation where the van is pulled alongside the car. Blockage and multipath are most pronounced in this situation. From these elevation cuts, the destructive interference in the antenna performance caused by the proximity of the delivery van is clearly shown. The interference will have significant impact on the intervehicle communication link. We've gleaned a great deal of information from just these three positions with a minimum of computing. Savant can, can create a series of snapshots over the course of the event of the van overtaking the car. When observed as a time-lapse animation, we can clearly see these blockage and multipath effects develop and recede. As the van approaches the car, we can clearly see the blockage effects in the direction of the van from the car. However, watch also the very spiky behavior resulting from multipath, which happens as the van pulls alongside of the car. This is very pronounced in the direction away from the car and away from the van. Now as the van moves past the car, the multipath effects recede and the shadow region progresses again in the direction of the van, moving now toward the forward direction. Thank you for viewing this Delcross Technologies presentation. For more information, feel free to visit us on the site at www.delcross.com. For North American sales and support, contact Delcross Technologies or our agent, CST of America Incorporated. And outside North America, please contact CSTAG.